What's up guys, Luke Deutschliner here with another video. If you guys like my videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and drop a comment down below. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about worldwide price drops on smartphones, mainly iPhones, and the R-SIM unlocking SIM, and what's going on. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. If you haven't, well, it's about to hit you. So if you haven't noticed, if you're selling to direct buyers right now, prices are way down, and that's because of the fact that carrier locked phones are no longer able to be unlocked by the R SIM. And what the R SIM does is it basically is a special SIM that goes into the phone and makes the phone usable on other networks and basically unlocks the phone. Now, of course, it's not a true genuine unlock. It doesn't make the phone, you know, paid off or anything like that. Uh, the phone is not unlocked unless obviously the R SIM is in it. However, Apple made a couple announcements, updates, etc. The R SIM is no longer working. So a lot of people are panicking right now. People wanna know what should I do? What do I do with my phones? Because my direct buyers or prices are you know, sinking and I'm losing money, et cetera. You know, everybody's kind of panicking right now because of the fact that a lot of people that sell to direct buyers that do large volume are only working on you know, 30 to $60 profit margins. Especially if you're selling to you know a lower uh, direct buyer or more of a middleman direct buyer, not a direct buying company, uh, obviously you're going to be getting much uh, lesser prices than somebody at the top. But even people at the top right now are suffering due to this. And I want to give you a couple tips in this video on basically what you can do and stay calm. So number one, the good thing about the R SIM is there is a huge following. So it's not just you that's affected by the RSIM, it's everybody out there in the phone flipping industry that deals with importing, exporting, unlocking, etc. So the good thing is, what this means is there is a large enough demand for the RSIM to be working that somebody somewhere will figure out a patch for the RSIM or you know make a new one that basically all will be fine. That is the good thing. So stay calm, don't freak out. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but because there is such a large demand and because it is kind of shaking the market right now, I would assume that there's going to be a patch or a fix relatively soon. So don't totally lose it. Now you're probably wondering what you, should you do during this time? So you basically got two options. One, you can go on eBay, do it the old fashioned way and list your smartphones on eBay, especially the locked ones that you know they're not gonna be unlocked because our SIM is down and see if you can get the same value as you were getting before or see if you can get more than what your direct buyer is offering you right now on eBay. Due to the fact that we don't know an actual date of time when the RSIM is gonna be up. The other thing that you can do, which I don't know if I recommend, I guess it depends on how much stock you're sitting on, is try and hope and wait for the RSIM to go back online, to get patched, to get fixed. Hold on to your stock and then wait for the prices to go back up and then you can ship those phones out. I don't really recommend that, um, the only way I would do that is if you're banned off eBay. Now, if you're banned off eBay and you have a large amount of stock, uh, consider selling maybe on Swappa or Mercari or even try possibly selling locally. Um, you know, selling a locked phone locally, you're going to have to find somebody special or possibly somebody that directly exports overseas. Probably not going to go so hot for you. Um, so <laughs> that being said, locally is probably, you know, pretty much out of the picture. Like I said, unless you post them and somebody reaches out that actually is a direct buyer. Uh, like I said, if you're banned on eBay, I think listing the phones on Mercari and Swap, but ASAP would be the best thing you can do. Uh, there are some people out there that are still paying decent prices for locked phones. I don't know exactly why, but they are. But what I do know is most direct buyers, especially people that aren't direct buying companies, their prices are way, way down. But even the direct buying companies, I'm not trying to shut out the direct buyers, but even the direct buying companies, the largest in the industry, everybody's prices are down right now. And that's because, like I said, the RSIM is a huge thing in this industry and it's kind of shaking the market right now and everybody's prices are going down. So like I said, don't panic. There are a couple things you can do. Like I said, if you do have a large amount of stock and you know, at, if selling at your current prices are gonna lose you a bunch of money, try and go eBay it. Hopefully somebody on eBay will still pay a good price for a locked device. Um, or like I said, you can try and sell it on Mercari or Swappa. The other option is to hold on to it, but that is kind of risky. Uh, no risk, no reward. But if you do hold on to your stock and let's say our Sims don't get patched for a month or two from now, that could be a really bad thing because you might end up losing money anyways, regardless of that. However, the other factor is, and when the RSIM does come back online, uh, there may be a higher demand for locked phones. So you might be okay. So 
I just kind of want to put these two options out there because I've gotten a lot of messages, people messaging me and kind of panicking like, Luke, I don't know what to do. And so this is kind of re of a response video for today's video uh, just to kind of help everybody out there and kind of calm you down and get you thinking. And for all the direct buyers out there too, don't be too hard on them because right now is a really stressful time for all the direct buyers too because if there's direct buyers out there that are sitting on tons of locked phones and they haven't shipped them yet, as of this happening recently, it's not really pretty for them right now either. Like I said, a lot of them actually have cut people off from buying. They're not even buying right now unless you're somebody really important on their client list just because of the fact that one, they can't really offer competitive prices right now and two, this kind of screws up their whole business model and exporting them overseas, etc. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, as soon as the RSIM and everything is patched, you'll probably see a nice you know, uprise in prices. But as of right now, uh, iPhone prices are down worldwide. You can pretty much expect that. I mean, it's it's not a it's not necessarily a good thing for the phone industry, but it's what's going on right now. Um, you know, there's a saying out there: all good things sometimes come to an end, and this is one of them. However, like I said, because the demand is so high for the RSIM and unlocking phones, etc., I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. I think that there will be a patch, a fix, or you know, a new card manufacturer, etc., and everything is going to be fine. So. It's just going to take a little bit of time because there is a high demand, but somebody will figure it out. And, you know, if there's a patch, awesome. If there's a new one that's made, great. But it's going to get fixed and everything's going to be okay. Just got to take these two decisions and kind of weigh in what you're doing. If you've got a large amount of stock, you might want to just sell that off fast because if you wait, you have more to lose also rather than gain if the prices do go down. So that being said, I hope this gets everybody thinking and I hope it helps you move some of your stock and I hope it keeps you calm. I know this isn't a fun time for a lot of people, especially if you've got a lot, uh, a lot of locked inventory laying around, or you know maybe you just purchased them over the weekend, whatever. And now, boom, this happens. It's not good. It's not a good thing, and uh, it's something that's completely out of our control. So just stay calm, stay cool, get rid of the inventory, sell out what you can. Um, you know, one of the best things you can do, even if you're not going to make a profit, uh, if you're going to lose 10 bucks a phone, 20 bucks a phone, guess what? It's better than sitting around for a month or two and then losing 50 to $60 a phone. Sometimes it's best just to cut your losses really soon so you're not out much money at all. So anyhow, hope this gets people thinking, calms you down. And thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below what you think about the price drops and the R Sims being down. Would love to hear what everybody out there thinks. And I will see you in the next video.